Imagine sitting on your couch when reality itself begins to bend. The air in front of you shimmers like a heat mirage. And then, right in the middle of your living room, a black dot appears. Tiny. Silent. No bigger than a coin. But what just appeared holds the mass of the entire Earth. For a heartbeat, everything is still. And then, space snaps. Air collapses inward. Walls shatter like paper. Every object stretches, thins, and then tears apart. Welcome to the jaws of a black hole. This is spaghettification. The gravity near that tiny dot is so brutal. The pull on your head is stronger than on your feet. Your entire body stretches into a thread of atoms. One second later, your house is gone. What remains is a storm of plasma glowing hotter than the surface of the sun. A swirling ring of matter spirals around the black hole, ripping itself to pieces, hurling out X-rays and gamma rays. For a brief, terrifying moment, your living room burns brighter than a star. But the black hole isn't done. It slips through the floor, plunging toward Earth's core. But in truth, it's not falling down. The Earth is collapsing toward it. The ground folds inward like fabric being pulled through a drain. Shock waves ripple outward. Mountains crumble. The crust caves and temperatures surge beyond 100,000 degrees Celsius. The planet glows like molten glass. Oceans vanish into steam. The sky is torn away. An hour later, half of the Earth has disappeared. The rest is in a death spiral falling into that tiny, unstoppable point. And then, silence. Floating in space is a black hole just one centimeter across, but heavier than the world that once held billions of lives. Would it evaporate? That's where Hawking radiation comes in. Black holes aren't eternal, not completely. Tiny quantum fluctuations near their edge allow a trickle of energy to escape. But an Earth-mass black hole would take 10 to the power of 67 years to fade. That's longer than the age of the universe itself. For us, it might as well be forever. And what about the Sun? Earth is gone, but the black hole weighs the same. From space, nothing changes. The Sun keeps shining as if Earth were still here. Only now, it's orbiting a silent, invisible weight. The moon, however, is not so lucky. Its orbit shatters into chaos. It drifts or falls toward the sun. Over thousands of years, the solar system begins to wobble, tiny shifts growing into cosmic instability. Millions of years later, where Earth once danced in sunlight, there's no ocean, no voice, no sound, just a single black dot holding everything we ever were. Your house, our, cities, every memory, every heartbeat, compressed into silence. The universe won't mourn us. It will simply move on. Because in the end, all that remains is gravity. If this moment made you pause, imagine what else the universe is capable of. Subscribe for more mind-bending what-if scenarios. And remember, the cosmos doesn't ask permission, it just happens.